I just wanted to go over how to do this last part of our homework because I know it is pretty difficult. So there's more than one answer here, and you want to um, list everything like before, the state, the number of electoral votes, and percentage of electoral votes. And there's a lot of different ways to do it. But basically, just kind of choose uh, whatever states you want that maybe have a kind of a large population, but not a lot of electoral votes, because remember, we have to lose the election. So when we add our electoral votes, we have to have less than 270. Um, but we can't even have 269, because that would be a tie. So we need to have... 268 or less, but more than half of the popular vote. So you're going to use the percentage. The percentage is how much of the people uh, voted. So once your percentage is greater than 50%, you have the pop. You've won the popular vote. More than half the people would have voted for you. So just start choosing. Like I said, you can research this to get an idea of what states to choose. But um, let's take Alabama, for example. If you just did Alabama, you write the state name first. And then the number of electors is 9 in Alabama. And the percent of the votes is 1.5%. So what I do is maybe look through here at some of these states where they have the same electoral vote. Like here's another 9. See how these have the same number of electoral votes? But look at the percentage. Which one? This Colorado has a little bit higher population. See how their population is 5 million versus the 4,700,000. And so instead of Alabama, actually, I'm going to change it to Colorado because I still get the same number of electoral votes, but I get actually a little bit more percentage. So let's change that to Colorado. 1.6%. And then I'm going to look at some other repeats. Maybe... Um, Let's see, here's two fours, where this one's worth 5.5% instead of just 0.4, so maybe I choose Idaho to uh, vote for this candidate that's going to lose. Here's another one that's repeated. This one's 1% 1 of the population, where this one's only 0.9, and they both are worth four, or sorry, six electoral votes. And so that's one way to do it, is just kind of going through and looking for repeats and seeing which one has a higher population. Here's a good one. These are both worth 10 electoral votes, but this one's 1 1.9, where this one's 1 1.7. So I wouldn't choose that state. I would choose Maryland. And we record Maryland's information. And um, it's probably going to be easier if you go ahead and rip off the tables so you don't have to flip back and forth. You can rip off these tables to record everything and then just staple them back on when you're done. So Maryland's 10 and 1.9%. And so the way you know you want to stop, so uh, after you make a list of states, add all these up, and it should be less than the 269. And these, you want to add up these, and they need to be greater than 50%. So the percent votes, when you hit greater than 50%, that means you won the popular vote, most of the country voted for you, but you didn't win the electoral vote because you get less than 269. So those are the two numbers you're looking for. So it's, um, you really want to do this in pencil because it's going to be kind of some guessing and checking, and you're going to want to switch some states around when you, you know, if you hit 273 popular vote, or sorry, the electoral vote, but you did get over 50%, you're going to have to adjust some. But once you finally get your list, then you're going to shade in the states that will give you that election where you win but actually lose. You win the popular vote and actually lose the election. All right, thanks, and good luck with that.